Okay, it's 11.39. We just dropped off our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll call it our seventh container movement of the day. We had a chassis movement. Our sixth container, it was a load of tires coming out to a tire shop here in the Campbell Industrial Area.
But the interesting thing about the Barbers Point Naval Air Station is that's where my wife was stationed when she was in the Navy. That's how my wife ended up in Hawaii. She was in Airedale that worked on the P3s at the Barbers Point Naval Air Station. She came to Hawaii, came to the Navy, and never left. I met her after she'd already gotten out of the Navy. I think she was in the Navy about eight years. So I don't know about that part of her life, but I do know it took place right here at the Harbor Point Naval Air Station. And this, when we go over the railroad tracks, we officially enter what used to be the Naval Air Station. And this road didn't exist back then. This is a new road that goes on. The old naval base. Department of Veterans Affairs. Man, that's a big new building. And I don't know, I think this housing is open to the public. They're building here. I don't know if it's here.
opened up and then COVID came along and kind of wiped out everything. So a lot of these companies that just in the process of opening up got hit pretty bad during COVID. So they're probably trying to recuperate. Some this. Now this housing was here when the base closed as far as I know. It's so just being built or had just been built. And then it was redone. And Two 
fifteen, and then they reopen at one o'clock. They just do that on days when the ship there's no ships in the terminal, so just make your way to the back of the queue. thing which is <laughs> it's not easy but uh, I kind of hit shoulder the problem is I'm gonna we got three more cruise ships we got one on Thursday we got one on Sunday and then the following Tuesday I think or Wednesday but I'm gonna be gone for two weeks so somebody else is gonna have to step up and cover which is no problem there's plenty of drivers that have done it so many times they should be doing it but um, they just wanted to, to have the, an overall all idea of what's going on and where the problems are and how many guys are they going to need. Because I usually feed them all that information, so now they got to kind of kind of do it on their own. Time for the time for the <laughs> the rookies to step up and take over. And I got a couple of good guys that are biting at the bit to do that so but anyway we had a pretty good day we came in at how we come in at five we did one two three four five six seven eight container movements one chassis movement we drove a hundred and uh, two and hundred and nine miles eight movements we're out of here by 2.45. That's a good day. So we're off tomorrow. We'll be back on Thursday for the cruise ship. And then um, Friday. And then we'll have to work Sunday for that cruise ship. And then Monday I have a uh, little operation I got to take care of. <laughs> so we'll be out for two weeks. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's like a two weeks of R&R. &R. Just stay at home and relax. But that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Aloha. Oh yeah, for dinner tonight, nothing but leftovers. We made salmon last night, which we didn't need to make. And so the leftovers are just piling up. We got, we got to get rid of them. But that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Aloha.